Hey guys, it's Dan with Adventuring Today. Thanks for being here. Please don't forget to subscribe, share with your friends, hit that thumbs up button, ask questions. Uh, today's video is gonna be a little bit different. Uh, I'm gonna talk a little bit about paint care and I am really excited about this. Um, if you can read this, this, this label is a little hard to pick up, um, but I'll have a, uh, some better pictures of this at the, at the end of the video. Um, I'm gonna add a, uh, I'm gonna apply, I should say, a ceramic coat to this truck. Now I've never done this before, so this is my first, uh, first shot at this. Um, and I chose this one. This is uh, made by a company called Kamikaze Collection. They're out of Japan. Uh, this is some of the best ceramic coat that money can buy. Um, Kamikaze actually sells a couple products that are cheaper than this one and um, a couple products that are a little more expensive than this one. So this is a mid-priced product, but um, I thought on my darker color paint that this would be a good choice for, uh, for me to use. So this is called the ISM Coat 2.0. This is the second version of, of this ceramic coating and it, just this little tiny bottle costs $150, but it's supposed to last two to three years. And uh, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna apply this and I'll give you a little feel for the process here. So my truck right now, I um, been playing around with some spray sealants and I'll give you a feel for what I've been, uh, been doing. So when I first got this truck, uh, this is a 2017 uh, F-250 and it's got 49,000 miles on it and it's always parked outside. As you can tell, it, do, it will not fit in my garage. Um, so I actually park it where we have our expedition. Rain, snow, snow shine, uh, bird droppings. Uh, it's exposed to all of the elements, hail storms, the whole shoot and match. And, you know, I... Um, um, this is kind of where I keep my collection of, of paint treatments and so forth. And I really fell in love with this product right here. I'm going to pull it out of my, uh, out of my little plastic closet here. It's this uh, class high gloss sealant. Um, you know, this, this bottle, I don't know, I think this cost maybe 20 bucks. And I've had it for about two or three years. I've applied typically one or two coats a year on a truck that sits out all the time, has done the trick. Um, the Expedition is parked inside and I applied a coat to that truck about uh, 15, 16 months ago and it still bubbles like crazy. I mean, it is it is still got great protection on it. But, you know, the next evolution of paint protection is with these uh, spray sealants. And I've tried a number of these. So let me show you what I've tried here. I've got these tucked back here because I don't like them. This is uh, Meguiar's version. I don't like this. It's difficult to work with and it, it doesn't last very long at all. Um, one that's slightly better than that, but not by much, is this Mother's CMX Ceramic Spray Coating. Um, I think this one's a little better than the Meguiar's, but again, not by much. I uh, probably wouldn't buy those again. Um, for a, a slightly more expensive, about $35 a bottle, this Wolfgang uh, spray uh, sealant uh, is fantastic. Um, this is a, um, it's an SiO2 spray sealant just just like these other ones are um the the mothers and the mcguires you know they're adding their version of a of a ceramic coat but the wolfgang is much better it will last weeks upon weeks it has done a really really good job and it's 35 bucks now if you want to step up and really get some of the best um uh, sealants out there then this mcglory that you can buy from a company called Esoteric is uh, is awesome. Um, I can't decide if I like this one better or if I like the one that actually the owner of Esoteric prefers, and that is Polish Angel. Um, you know, Polish Angel is a little bit more money, and uh, this one it probably does bubble up a little bit better. But boy, they are close. They are super close. I like them both. But I, this is what I've been using um, every couple weeks or so, just after I wash the truck. Um, if I don't use this um, product right here, just to kind of wipe down dust every once in a while, this is just a high gloss gloss uh, sealant from uh, Chemical Guys. Um, I, I'll use this a little more frequently the past few weeks, and uh, but the Wolfgang, the Palace Angel, and the McGlory, I've been applying every couple of weeks and probably don't even have to apply it that often, not nearly that often, but it's just kind of fun to put it on. Boy, the truck looks fantastic. But those are temporary. 
something more permanent to last two or three years is this ism coat and um that is the product now my paint looks great so i'm not going to do a lot of work on this truck from a, a paint correction perspective i mean as you can see in here it's got fantastic gloss in fact it's not much different than uh than what it was in the factory forty nine thousand miles i mean i i do everything i can to take good care of my paint and as you can see it has just got fantastic shine um and i'll credit this not just to me you know taking care of my paint but to those products that i've been using that polish angel and and mcglory and the wolfgang are just fantastic i mean just every panel on the truck pops with great shine but this ism coat is supposed to last two to three years now once this is applied to the vehicle i can no longer use those other sealants so i'll just start using those on the expedition um, what i need to do then going forward once i get this applied is is to use this stuff i'm sorry it's not that there's one more product i didn't pull out my trusty esoteric bag over here it is right here it's called overcoat now this is a this product is a sacrificial layer so you um, apply this after the uh, ism coat cures and then um, every um you know every once a month maybe you would apply this stuff and this is like i say it's a sacrificial layer so let's say that a, uh, you get some bird droppings on the vehicle. Um, the bird droppings will be uh, what may consume part of this product, but they're not going to get down into the, the ISM or get down into your paint. So you would wipe the bird droppings off and then just apply a little more overcoat to that section of the vehicle. So that's the whole idea behind this overcoat is to be a sacrificial layer to protect the expensive ism coat and uh, keep this on the on the vehicle as long as possible so anyway with that um what have i done so far to prepare the vehicle so i i washed it this morning um had to head off to work came back home mowed the lawn had dinner and so i uh used this chemical brothers uh, to just to wipe some of the dust off the vehicle. Now, the next step that I'm going to do is I'm going to go straight to this Ichiban finish. Now, this is a another great product that's made by Kamikaze, and it is a uh, it's a it's a finishing polish. So it does not have a lot of cutting, but it will do a good job of removing some slight imperfections, which I think is the condition that this paint is in, which is why I chose this one. Um, just some slight imperfections. I don't need anything that's gonna cut deep into the vehicle, but I'm going to um, apply this. And once I apply that, then I'm going to use this Gion Q2M Prep. Um, this is going to remove anything and everything that is on this paint. So it's going to remove the sealant, the polish, and anything else that's kind of been layered on over the past two years on my vehicle. So it's just going to strip it down to the clear coat, and which is exactly what you want before you apply the ism uh, ceramic sealant. You want to just get the paint down to its bare uh, clear coat so that when you put this $150 uh, uh, ceramic coat on the vehicle it has the best base to hold on to itself and I'm gonna show you exactly how I'm gonna do this so I'm gonna use a orbital to apply the polish I'll just show you a little bit of what that looks like once I get going and um, and then I will be back to you right uh, after I get it set up okay give me a couple minutes be back okay guys I'm back all right so I uh, had a orbital that was uh it, it was fantastic it was made by grits and it lasted about i don't know 12 years or so using it you know six seven eight times a year and i was i wanted to try something different because i actually have got two uh orbitals by grits and i wanted to try a different one um, this one is made by a company called shine master and it's got great reviews on uh, on the internet this is if you can see this over here sorry about that i try to get this so focused in it is, yeah, it's a little tight, sorry. Um, it is the model number uh, M15 Pro, right there, if you can see that. And it's fantastic. So let me show you how this thing works. I'm gonna set the camera down. 
it's got this nice easy slow start to it and look at that orbital action I mean it's just it's awesome it's it, it, it is a step above the one that I used to have it's got a nice speed control right here to adjust the speed it is high quality uh, you know professional grade now I bought this on Amazon and I found this kit of um, by a company called Hexlogic and these pads are awesome the, the price was great and um, we got a whole variety of pads now this is the white pad it's a light medium polishing pad because I'm just using uh, a finishing polish I'm only going to be doing some light polishing uh, this is going to be uh, perfect for me so you know this just uh, attaches to the orbital just like that I'm gonna set that down there but in this bag I mean, you just got a whole variety of pads I mean this one is a heavy polishing pad here's a heavy cutting um, this one is a finishing pad probably could have used that one for what I'm doing um, here's a medium heavy cutting pad you get the idea but it also came with a bottle of chemical guys polishing pad cleaner which is uh, pretty cool too so this is what I'm going to use to um, polish the vehicle and instead of there's lots of videos showing guys using orbitals on their trucks I'm not going to do that so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to turn the camera off I'm going to polish the vehicle and then I will uh, bring you back and show you what the paint looks like I'm not expecting a big difference but we'll take a quick look at it and uh and see how it goes okay thanks all right guys that took oh man maybe about 25 minutes half hour um just got it all applied with this is the finishing polish uh, just got it all applied. There's some places that are lighter and darker because I worked some areas a little bit more and uh, the polish I uh, wanted to get a little bit thinner create a, just maybe a smidge a bit of heat in there to try to work out a couple spots but anyway you get the idea so next step is to buff this uh, polish off I'll be back all right guys I just got done with taking off all the polish and I would say the time it took me to put it on pretty much equal the time it took me to take it off um, maybe even slightly longer to take it off because I was just really being careful to get every little nook and cranny but man I was wrong it is shiny I don't know where the best angle is but this is a pretty good one you know, it's getting a little bit uh, dark here in St. Louis it's um, seven o'clock so the sun is on the other side of the house but it is pretty spectacular so uh, I'm, I'm really satisfied with this product in fact I'm so happy that I put that finishing coat polish on here because it really lit up this paint um, I mean I thought it was shining before but you know that was just my perception it, it, it's probably really hard to pick up on the camera just trust me it's you know I don't know 10 or 15 percent shinier than what it was before I put that on so okay so what am I gonna do next I've got the vehicle polished now here's what I'm gonna do I, I don't have time to do the ISM coat today so but what I am gonna do now is I'm gonna strip everything off this paint by using this uh, Gion prep and this is a phenomenal product uh, I'm going to use this and you just spray this on and you wipe it off it's that easy uh, you could use isopropyl alcohol you know or maybe Dawn laundry detergent is kind of the or uh, dishwashing deter uh, soap is the old school way of doing it but this th those kind of things can especially the isopropyl alcohol can really dry out the paint so this is uh, the new modern way to remove uh, any type of coating that you have on the vehicle and um, you know polishes sealants waxes uh, things like that so I'm gonna hit this I'm gonna wipe it down and then uh, you'll probably I'll be back with you early tomorrow morning maybe seven eight o'clock in the morning just depending on what the temperature is and the humidity and so forth and then tomorrow we'll put on the ISM coat pretty excited about that so anyway thanks guys be back in a bit okay guys I'm back and it is Saturday morning truck is looking great I brought it back in the garage paint is nice and cool 
and um, so we're going to start applying the ISM coat. Now, this morning I did wipe it down again with the Gion Prep just to get some uh, dust that maybe accumulated over the night and also to make sure that, um, you know, I had all the last bits of residue from the wax off of the truck. Now, so here we go with the ISM coat. And again, I'm going to, um, in the show notes, link uh, a video or two to this company called Esoteric. They're a premium uh, paint protection uh, film application company out of Ohio. People bring their uh, Bugattis and their Ferraris and their Paganis and every other type of expensive Italian uh, German uh, vehicle to them to, to treat their paint and so forth. Um, and so uh, I just, they've got so many good videos about applying ceramic coats and everything, much better than what I'm than the one I'm doing today. But uh, anyway, so you get this little pad with the kit. And it's just like a little black, almost like a, an eraser, uh, but, it's, but it's quite a bit smaller. And then you get these applicator pads that you just wrap over the pad just like that. And then you take the ISM coat with these little pipettes. Um, ISM coat does come with a, uh, a dropper, um, but Esoteric recommends you just buy these. They're really inexpensive. You just toss them away, and they actually are supposed to work a little bit better than the one that comes with the ISM coat. Um, also, once you use this once, if you don't get that pipette that comes with the ISM coat completely clean, you'll never get to use it again because this uh, ceramic dries so hard, you'll never get it clean. So these, you just throw them away, and uh, you're good to go. So you just take a little bit out of the bottle, and you just put a line on a couple lines on your uh, applicator pad and then you apply this in a cross hatch pattern now that's the video that i'm going to link in my show notes is how to apply this uh, esoteric does a phenomenal job of showing you exactly how to apply this it's very easy and it only takes approximately three minutes of sitting on the paint and you start wiping it off and um and you're done. So I probably be able to do my whole truck here in about 45 minutes is how long this will take. It goes on easy. It comes off very easy. And, um, and then you just get tremendous, tremendous results. So this is next generation paint protection, ceramic coat. And this is one of the best ones on the market you can buy from uh, Kamikaze. So I'm going to get to work and I'll be back in a little bit. All right, guys, I am done. All right. Yeah, I think I said 45 minutes. It took a little longer than that. It was about an hour and a half. Um, you know, first time I've ever done this before, I took my time. But I do think I underestimated just based on the size of a Super Duty. If you're doing a Honda Accord or Camaro Corvette, you know, something like that, you probably are looking at 45 minutes, maybe an hour. But um, anyway, so even though this truck is so big, and I had a lot of paint to cover. I don't know if you can see this, but I, uh, I only used about half of the ISM. So I think I can get my expedition done here in a week or two with that same bottle and just have enough to uh, get that one done. So anyway, paint looks fantastic. I've got to let the truck sit in here and cure for the bulk of the day. Um, one thing I did notice, and you know, again, my garage just isn't quite big enough and I don't have a studio to detail cars in. This is the best I can do. But the, the rear of the, the vehicle, now this isn't in the direct sun, so this is, now it's getting a little bit warm, um, but it's not, it's not super hot. Um, but it is warmer than what's in the, in the pure shade over there. The ISM tends to cure a little bit quicker in the heat. Now my tailgate, has been in the direct sun so i you know it's hard to even keep your fingers on there i um i did not treat the tailgate so i'm gonna wait to do that till this evening and um you know and it, just, it won't have quite as long of a cure time but it's a it's a vertical panel i think it'll be okay so uh anyhow i love it i think it looks great i it's not supposed to rain for three or four days, so this is a perfect time to do this. I'm not going to wash the truck until I absolutely have to. Just let this uh, cure and harden over the next few days, and then um, I can't wait to see it rain and see what the uh, uh, bubbling effect 
uh, it's going to be, I think, pretty pretty amazing. So anyway, the, the paint looks fantastic. I mean, it looks like it's brand new again. So anyway, guys, that's it. That's uh, ISM uh, by Kamikaze, uh, a little ceramic coat on the Super Duty. Probably not a bad idea if you want to keep the paint looking good on a, on a truck like this to uh, do a ceramic coat. It uh, maybe a little bit more work than putting on a Carnuba only because of uh, if you do it right there's going to be a lot of you know quite a bit of prep work but you know honestly a lot of that same prep work can be uh, probably should be applied with the, with Carnuba. Somebody might ask you know did you a uh, clay bar the vehicle? I, I did just a couple months ago. I, you know, I Technically I probably should have done it again but uh, since I had just done it I didn't bother with it this time. Um, I'm going to be selling this truck in about a year anyway. So uh, that is, uh, but if you're going to keep something for the long haul and it's outside a lot, these ceramic coatings are phenomenal. It is the next generation of paint treatment and it really, they really do uh, protect the paint uh, quite a bit longer. So this ISM, like I say, is supposed to last two to three years. Um, you know, if I could even get the, the short end of that two years out of it, if I were to keep the truck that long, you never know, then... Uh, it was money well spent. So anyway, hope this helps anybody out thinking about doing ceramic coats. Don't forget to subscribe, like the channel, share with your friends and ask questions. Thanks for being here today. Look out for more videos soon coming up on these new Cooper Discover AT3 XLT tires I put on about 10,000 miles ago. And I got another video coming out uh, in, the, in the near future on uh, some of the issues I've had with my truck. So anyway, thanks guys for being here. Appreciate your time. Have a great day. Bye.